Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Um, <laughs> um, uh, 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 how, how do I video games? How about that Pan's Labyrinth? How do I commentary? Oh, Pan's Labyrinth was a great movie. Yeah. Um, right in the kind of, I mean, different tones, but right in the vein of this game. Yeah, uh, a girl who... I mean, she's probably yes. dead in Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> I mean, well, she is. Ooh. Uh, Rachel. Oh, oh. oh, I didn't mean to get the wrong guy. Rachel argues that point with me. What? Um, I would say she is, but yeah. Rachel argues that. I mean, it's sad, but. For the the point of fantasy, is that she's not basically like that she's. Well, that gets into the never-ending story argument. Um, mm. Is is he really flying around at the end of the movie? Shooting people on top of uh, what's what's his flying dog's name? Um, Falcor. Falcor shooting the Falcor. Wait, wait, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please go on. Well, you didn't interrupt the rock. That's what was really disappointing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody interrupts the rock. Do you understand? Anyways, you know the thing that was really interesting about Pan's Labyrinth is the way they balanced out the fantastic nature of it with all of the really upsetting real-world stuff. Some of the real-world real stuff was exaggerated, too. The exaggerated gore. Yeah, like real-world season two. Real-world season two. That was real exaggerated. What are you talking Do you about? not know what real-world is? What, you, what is this? Are you so young? Some kind of MTV thing? Yeah, yes, it's an MTV thing. Um, Do you really not? It was like the first like. It's like a stand, like a, what was it? A, what are those shows called? The reality shows. It was one like one of the, the first, first reality shows okay. that had the whole like um, confessional booth style. Uh, oh. Like it, it was that show. You know, <laughs> like they were the ones who did that thing. I can't imagine Pan's Labyrinth as a as a documentary like where the characters sit aside and talk to the camera every now and again. <laughs> God, my mom just won't believe me, yeah. so I had to hide this mandrake under my bed. <laughs> Hold on, I need some visine from my hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, today I had to cut off a soldier's foot. <laughs> yeah. um, what movie would documentary style like like? Asides be the most inappropriate. In inappropriate? Well, yeah. that's one of them. Also, Schindler's List. Oh no! <laughs> History Channel presents time traveling documentarist <laughs> Richard Carlyle interviewing Schindler's List. Yeah, uh, but the, oh, hang on. We'll we'll come back to that discussion. How delightful! A carnival jester. Not yet. I'm on my way to a circus nearby. Is that that voice? I no, think I've just changed every time. You've changed Rubella's voice every know, single Rubella. time. I didn't come up with these original voices on on the spot. You you need to make like little bells. Oh, you need your R and B jingle every time, oh, Rubella. Man. That is that is a, that is a that is a dope <laughs> reference to something that we've never talked about on this show. But now we can talk about it. That's okay. You don't have to say that. You could just say, "Oh yeah, there's that thing I talk about sometimes." I feel like every time I bring up a reference that's really vague, you chastise me for it. I do it. So I'm going to chastise you for it. And, uh, <laughs> and, and how strong you are. Anyways, what we're trying to say is I really love in R&B music when they have that like magical like powder sprinkle sound effect. The... I, don't, I can't yeah, think of it. Yeah, you're not... Yeah, it's impossible but to it's, Maybe we can post that in? Maybe. It, probably not. But, probably not. But the point being is it's in like every R&B song yeah. you've said. Yeah. And... Uh, for some reason, song producers love it. So much. In spite of it being the most generic and ridiculous thing. Uh, what does it really add? Like, this song has taken you to a magical it's place, a girl. Place. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm going to show you the child of light, the land of Lemuria. Okay. Well, speaking of, let's get back to this dialogue so we're not sitting on the screen forever. I bet you could raise a real lady high. Show me one, and I'll make an attempt. Oh, jeez. I've got to change it every aren't, time. Aren't these people supposed to be friends? Wait, what do you mean? They're like princesses, and she's saying, show me a real lady, and I'll... whatever. Like... She means try. <laughs> uh, that, that's harsh. I think it was friendly. I don't know. It was friendly banter. Okay, well... Did we just come this way? Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's weird, though, because that thing was... Okay. Anyways, we were saying before what would be the most inappropriate uh, movie to have... Yeah, and I said Schindler's sides. List. Schindler's, oh, okay, yeah. 
But when we were, when we were gonna discuss something, about, oh, 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 let me. Oh, we were. Oh my goodness, you're just gonna run into like every enemy. Just open this box. Oh. This box gem. Useless child of light. Got some more revives from that. That's good. I'm gonna need them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. What were we saying? We were just on that topic. It's it's a mystery. Forever and ever, apparently. All right, we need to go over this mountain. We're just collecting How chests down here. How do you know? Because I've, because I've played How this game. How do you know? There's a really cool side quest down here, though. How? Oh, that's that we back can at least that way. I didn't visualize. realize this was... I'm going to show you guys what you could be playing if you come down here. <sighs> Look in your hands. If we weren't if we weren't uh, doing this whole... Like, this is like NES era, like, to me. Is that the one? Yeah, here he is. A little miner, right? And you uh -huh. got to bring him a lantern. You know, just for some generic reward. But it's so cool, like... So there's no quest in your quest log for it. Yeah. It's just something you have to remember to do. Um, and that's that's something that I think... I, I mean, there's a lot I can say about ga modern games. like Right, handling. Skyrim pointing you in the direction but, uh, that you I, need to go the entire time. And we may have talked about this either on Lost Episodes of no. Instant Replay, but I really hate achievements. Because I think they are too on the nose for what it is to be rewarded as a player in a game. Hmm. There's a sense of reward that comes from you knowing that you've done something unique, and I don't need to be oh, told, told what that is. Oh, jeez, I am just hey, getting... Some, oh, my goodness. Oh, oh up. Let me, uh, let me heal you, bro. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> hey, we don't even need to be here. Yeah, Let's just go if we don't need to go through that mess, will we go through it eventually, though? No, we don't. Just come on back. No, we're doing it. Oh. We're going to end this episode on finishing that, because whatever that is, I'm not letting it beat me. <laughs> Can I at least heal you first before no. you go and... Oh, my gosh. It's already up there. Can't go up. Okay. Nope. Yeah, that's letting you back out. Heal me. All right, I'm gonna chase it. Oh. Wow. I didn't realize there was another one there. There's another one right there too. I know. I'm waiting for it to go. Oh, I thought I was in between. Okay, hit that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go up, aren't I? I mean, it's hit, but I don't know what you're gonna. Oh, I can. Yeah. Just hang out up here, wait for the lava too. to. Refresh. I'm gonna heal you too, since you took so much damage. Listen, I'm fine as long as I'm alive. Mm. As long as I know how to love, I know I will survive. Hey, hey. Wow. I didn't know you were such a rapist. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, <laughs> careful, <laughs> careful. All right, lift it up now. Oh, that's what that does. I assume. Yeah. Go 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 go! Oh, don't go! Thanks, don't go. thanks for. Go 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 go! Thanks for trying to kill wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. Let's make sure we don't. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait! At don't this tell me. Closed door, where I can't go I because spots. you haven't opened it yet. Man, I love when I get to control the tempo of the game. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyways, achievements. Gosh. So I, I just think that you know, like. When, when you can find a place in a map that doesn't feel like you're supposed to have gotten there, or it seems like it is really challenging to get right. there. and it feels like it's your thing, not the thing they yeah. planned exactly and, for and you it, to do. It loses a sense of mystery when the when I, when I realize that the developers intended me to get there. Wow, that was really worth it. Yeah, that was <laughs> um, kind of lame. I wish um, we'd gotten an achievement for that. <laughs> yeah, that would have made all the difference, wouldn't right. it? Up, up, up. I'm going, but I fell in the water. We need to be up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and back to home. All right. I spy a town. Oh, that's you. No, that's they me. will know the route we seek. Oh yeah, that that is me. This is a really cool town. Of mice and magna. I like little mice people. Yeah. All right, let's go meet little some. Little red wally in town. Forget this rat race. <laughs> uh, Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, based on the way this child reacts to things, I, I, she, it wouldn't be that like, surprising. Like, ugh, idiot. Oh, Poor open, man. Open that thing. Kill yourself. Uh, that's going to be a side quest. How do I it know is. which ones are the real quests? Just, I'll tell you. Don't go down to the basement. It's not worth it. I mean, it, it is <laughs> worth it. But, oh my. Oh, oh. I quit. I just, how could I? Oh, man. I, Joe? Joe? I'm in the fridge! <laughs> We're the Cheetos! Um, we are so. Man, can we just reference, reference? Like, can we just. Yeah. That, can I just be. Only, like, let's have an improv game where we only talk Where in do I go in this town? Uh, to oh, this right guy? Here. Am I right talking here, to the, that with person? The, with the exclamation point on his head? So the outdoor exclamation points are the, the better ones? 
Hello, Please. sir. How fares your day? Um, uh, oh, uh, oh, I've got to make a mouse voice. A mouse voice? You can make whatever voice you want. Obviously, Nora is not a typical Nora voice. Why, it's coming along strong, just passing through. One might say so. What sort of instruction do you do? I educate Populi in the intricacies of trade anew. Oh, may I sit in too? You? I'm afraid such instruction will be wasted. On one without the ear, the nose, or tail for such things. Uh, but I would very much like to attend for reasons I'm not quite sure. The class is full. Fly away on those wings. Sir, I declare I will prove to you I know the subtleties of trade. Give me a target. Ha! No teeth to grasp upon a deal. No smell for the market. Fine, the impossible do. Without any wishes, oculi or spells bold. Take this apple, and through trade, with populi and capilli, turn it into gold. This is a side quest, actually, I just realized. <laughs> You. I do not expect you to dazzle. You are now popular. Now skedaddle. Well, I'm not going to dazzle if it's just a, a side quest. Um, we will have to return and find wherever the real quest is. On our next oh, episode. I know where it is. Well, next time. Uh, it's in the vault. So thank you for watching. We gotta go to the bank vault. There may not be another episode because I might murder Joe. <laughs> Subscribe before that and point. find out what's in the bank vault. And stop with your flashing. What?